Time now for campus craziness, and in that category, no school comes close to matching Evergreen College in Washington State. If you've been in a coma for the last month, here are the basics. Student activists sought to kick all white people off campus for an entire day. Brett Weinstein, who's a biology professor there and a self-described progressive, refused to leave. He said that was wrong. He was subsequently harassed by a mob howling for his job. Instead of sticking up for their colleague, meanwhile, dozens of Evergreen professors have called for Weinstein to leave, calling him the villain, demanding he be investigated. Professor Weinstein has relocated his family for their safety, but he joins us now, and we're grateful he has. Professor, thanks for coming on. So, Thanks for inviting me back, Tucker. You're no longer on the campus of Evergreen. Why? Well, the college has never acknowledged the danger that they put us in, and therefore I uh, have no way of knowing whether it's safe for me to return. Their assurances that it is safe don't mean anything. Not that they've offered them. <sighs> Not that they've offered them. No, it's, it seems to me, and you and I have talked before, I, I doubt we share the same politics at all, but this seems a pretty cut and dried case of the defense of free expression. Y you had a point of view, and your right to have that ought to be sacrosanct, and I wonder you know, how many of your colleagues or others in academia have supported you in that? Well, uh, I've received tremendous support outside of the college, and I've received Good. quite a bit of support privately within the college, but publicly uh, only one other professor has come forward uh, to say he supports my position. And what is your position, if you could sum it up for us? Well, the issue is complicated. Let me start by just simply pointing out the protest of my class uh, occurred because I sent an email to the staff and faculty email list protesting what we call day of absence. In this case, day of absence was being reversed by the organizing committee and white people were asked to leave the campus. It was not that we were forced to leave, but we were right. asked to leave and it was made very clear that uh, leaving was an act of allyship with people of color and therefore not leaving if you were white uh, meant that you were not an ally. And you so refused the, to leave? Uh, I did refuse to leave and I sent a letter. I think it was very carefully stated, but it said that there was a tremendous difference between a population absenting themselves from a shared space and a population deciding to absent other people from that same space. And that yes. on a college campus, people should be equally free to be on campus irrespective of their skin color. Exactly. Amen. Which I thought was sort of a basic precept of American life. Do you plan to go back to Evergreen? Well, I certainly have duties to finish uh, this year, and I have no alternative employment, so my expectation is that I, I will have to go back. That said, it's not exactly clear how I can go back to a campus where the administration and the faculty have invested so heavily in demonizing me. At first, they demonized me as a racist, and as it became clear that that was not resonating with people, they shifted uh, their critique and, in fact, have blamed my last appearance on your program for everything that has occurred at Evergreen since. It's so just... I don't know how I can go back and teach given that um, I have been portrayed as the reason that Evergreen is in crisis. It's just, it's just grotesque. And, and, and for the record, of course, all of this happened before you came on our show. We asked you on because we saw it unfolding. I, I, I really hope a, a college, any college, who wants a professor or principal uh, will call you right after this appearance tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thanks very much.